people. I am here with another video. Hold. I'm gonna turn the light off. You guys can see me. <laughs> okay. There you go. Hello, peoples. I'm here to make another video. This isn't gonna really be a wrestling related video today. This video is gonna be about. Anyway, um. Today's video is, is not a wrestling related video. It is going to be about that channel, news net, news channel, um, the Young Turks. And I've been subscribed to them for like a year now, like over a little bit over a year now. And at first, I liked them. I know I was like agreeing with their views and all that jazz. You know, I'm all for marijuana legalization, stuff like that. But then I started to notice. There are more and more and more of their problems. And I am going to list them. One. Anna Kasparin. I am sorry. I can't stand her. She, in my opinion, drags the show down. For, like, the past two weeks she wasn't on, it was like... She's, like, in my opinion, like, John Cena of Dumb Turks. She's there all the time, shoved down her throats. And... I mean, don't get me wrong, she's pretty, but she's not that hot. And let's be honest, that was the only reason she was hired. And that's a lot of reasons they get their big views, because people want to see Anna. But I digress. The, my real issue with her is... Yeah, the biggest issue I have with her is she blows everything out of proportion. Like, if she did a, vi we did a video, like, was it yesterday? Or yet yeah, day before I forgot what day it was, and it was about this joke, FAFSA joke, and whatever. It was a joke, and she was all trying to blow it out of proportion. And she always does this, blows everything out of proportion, and it isn't that bad. And it's like I can't stand that. And my second issue with the show is they're incredibly biased. They like, to, they contradict themselves all the time. They want to make fun of Fox News. And I am in no way a Fox News viewer. But I'm just saying, to make a point. They want to hate on Fox News for doing something. But when they do pretty much the same thing. You know? They do almost the same thing. You know? They only give their views. And if you don't agree with them, they'll call you an idiot. Or they'll call you crazy mental and it's a lot of the times I feel like they don't even do their full research and that's my actually that's my third issue they don't seem like they go full research they do the research oh oh I, I'm sorry I'm going back to Anna but she did a video on the whole Elliot Rogers case thing and some guy was giving his thoughts on on why he did what he did and all she was trying to say he was defending him no he wasn't it's like she was reading the article, but she wasn't actually reading it. She just couldn't. And that's my other biggest issue with her. It's like she lets her emotions cloud her judgment. Because if you actually read what the dude was saying, there was some legit arguments he could make. The guy, in this society, day society, if you're not this suave, sophisticated guy, you can't get girls. But I digress. That's not a, that's gonna be a rant for another time. But and it's like I don't mind Jank. Jank can be cool, but when I, okay, the only thing I do definitely disagree with them is on the gun stuff. And I'm not even a gun owner. It's just they come at it from like the stupidest stag points. It's like they use a couple shootings which aren't even connected half the time. And it's like they cherry pick the gun stories. It's like they never do stories of when someone actually defends himself from an attacker with guns. They always have to choose the stories where some crazy guy... And it's like they don't even blame the guy. They want to always blame the gun. And that's always, in my opinion, the stupidest argument people can do. It's a, it's not going to physically shoot people on its own. Hold on. Yeah, um, and it's like... It's like I think in their minds... They think a gun owner is a crazy right right wing racist redneck. Not all gun owners are like that. 
there are some responsible gun owners out there, you know, and this is just, it's not fair, you know, because it's like, it's very unfair, you know, and it's like, and it's like, um, the other hosts, I would like a new co-host, I felt like Gina was a better co-host than Anna, because she didn't get all emotional over story, and it's like, that's why I can't stand when Anna do, does stories, it's just like, she's so, I can't, I can't, you know, it's like, when I hear her voice now, it's like, ugh, um, but I really don't mind, I personally think if they just did their research more, and it could be a decent channel, I don't hate it necessarily, but I do think they don't do their research, and it's like, and I just hate that they act like they're this, you know, unique, you know, I, I, I really, I really hate that, that's the only thing, they try to act like they're this unique, or this b glass breaking, unique channel, no you're not, you pretty much just read, you pretty much just reiterate what someone else wrote. And I know they don't claim to be journalists and stuff like that, but still, it's just like they want to act like they're this groundbreaking news channel, and they're not, in my opinion, they're not. And it's like when they and they did do some of the. I don't mind the silly celebrity stories, but don't act like you're this groundbreaking news channel. You're like, in my opinion, they're, and half of the stuff they say is speculation. Half of it isn't even true. I remember one story. They're saying Pat Robertson had sex with a transsexual, and he never said that. They just speculated that. It's like half of what they say is just pure speculation. And it's not fair, you know? You know, but um, I'm going to sign off. I'll do a video tomorrow. And uh, comment on the bottom. And uh, see you guys soon.